Alright, what's going on boys? Today we're going to be taking a look at aim down sights and movement speed or strafing inside of Warzone. I think this is an, an area of the game, an aspect of the game that a lot of people don't really look at or expand upon um, when they're building their loadout. And in my opinion, after this year and after playing with players that are better than me and learning from other players, this is one of the things that I, this is one of the few things that I took um, from really good players, pro players, um, that really elevated my gameplay that I just really don't see anybody talking about. And like I said, that is ADS movement speed or uh, ADS strafing while in a gunfight. Um, so today's video is going to be a 26 kill solo win. And I just want you to pay attention to my close range fights, uh, the SMG fights. Watch how I'm taking them. Um, and next time you play the game, try to build your weapon for strafe speed and try to make that a conscious thing to do um, and see how it improves your gameplay. Here is the class setup that I'll be running on the video today. Um, if we take a look at the detailed stats, as you can see, ADS movement speed on the far right side under the mobility section it is 4.2 meters per second left and right movement speed. And that is genuinely pretty quick. Uh, we can t even take this a lot further. And I've been using this perk. I've been using this perk for months now. Which is Stalker. Which increases your ADS movement speed. And this adds on an extra 17.5% to your uh, strafe speed. So you can, re if you have a ADS movement build and you add Stalker, it really takes it to the next level and makes you a super hard target in gunfights. Alright boys, hope you enjoyed the solo video today. And uh, yeah, let me know in the comment section if you're going to try this out. And if you do try it, come back to the video and let me know your findings. If it made your close range gunfights a little bit more consistent. And yeah, take it easy boys. Peace. I really don't like that. No backpacks and stuff. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what they do. Like I said, if they remove, if they don't remove backpacks and force, or if they don't remove foresight and specialists or severity, change it in any way. In, in a in a way, then I don't know. Just gonna be the same for me at least. What's up, Graham? Hey, buddy. Get fucked. I can play other games, I like other games, but like at the end of the day, if I'm gonna make content on a game, COD's the only game I'm like super passionate about to make, to make content. So, yeah, there's that. And like I would say my passion for COD is kinda declining, but I think that's just my passion for Warzone. No matter how bad Warzone is, I always I always enjoy multiplayer. And if you guys think I'm good at Warzone, I would say I'm better at multiplayer than I am at Warzone, to be honest. 
Granted, the fucking skill gap for multiplayer is a little bit is obviously lower. Like I said, though, it's a, just a different type of skill. You know, you may have a high KD, but what way do you play? You run around and push everything? Play a lot more conservative? You know, like... It is just all playstyle, but I think in general, like, good, good multiplayer players with high KDs... It's killing it for me. Oh, he's on top? I didn't even see him up there. Understand how bad they are for the game. I really don't think people understand how bad they are for the game. Yeah, portable buy stations. Honestly, utility boxes are a problem. May not seem like it, but utility boxes are a problem. I think the conscious decision whether you want to pick up a muni box or a plate box should be a deliberate decision. You shouldn't just have both. You got gas inbound. Safe zone reloaded. My opinion. Or maybe nerf. Maybe nerf utility boxes so they don't give you uh, lethals and tacticals. A couple contracts out there have increased pay. Fucking loser, bro. Eat your fucking gun.
really adds a lot of tension to those areas. My FOV always has me down bad in a smoke grenade, bro. No targets left to kill. GG. I believe that's what they call victory.